Today on Tonka Talks, we discuss animal captivity, give you the lowdown on Tonka traffic, give tribute to a Tonka student, Haley Sharp, and celebrate the sweetest day in February. I'm Alex Ersman. I'm Cole Evans, and this is your February 10th Tonka Talks. Have you heard of the blackfish conflict? Yeah, I heard the freshmen are taking action. Yeah, and here's a story about our own reaching out to SeaWorld. Blackfish has become a nationwide sensation uncovering the truth behind SeaWorld. Blackfish is a documentary that was made um, in response to Dawn Branchow's death. She is a trainer at SeaWorld who um, died because of, a black, or of an orca attack. Our very own freshmen take their arguments to SeaWorld. The students watched Blackfish, we watched it in class, and then they were to choose a side. So they were either um, for SeaWorld or against it, saying either they need to make some changes or they need to just stay the same. And then they researched that side. So they had to get some research to back up their argument, and then we wrote letters to SeaWorld to prove that argument. I wrote that I was against SeaWorld and how they treat the whales and how they're in captivity. I'm on SeaWorld side because blackfish lied a lot in their documentary. Shows how like the differences between where like how you can if you have a captive orca, how you should treat them and how you shouldn't treat them and like the ways of how SeaWorld has them and like they display them in a good way with the show but it's different how you see it behind the scenes. Cedar night for girls basketball is tonight at 7 versus Liberty North and on Saturday versus Grandview at home. Don't miss them. In other news, whether you're stuck in traffic or on time, teacher or student, no one enjoys waiting in line. Each morning, students and staff make their way down 48th Street towards school, but getting to school can be frustrating. As everyone scrambles to get to class, the traffic line becomes congested and it backs up towards Brighton. Well, the traffic line on the way into school can be kind of scary because even when the crossing guards are there, people pull out at the wrong times and so you have to be very aware. You may find it interesting to know that approximately seven years ago, student parking was on the opposite side of the building. After structural concerns, the parking lot was made smaller and could no longer accommodate the number of student cars. So they switched them. There used to be a light to help the kids get in and out, but um, on this west parking lot, which is now the student parking lot, uh, they don't have a light anymore, so they decided to put the deputy out there. Although there is still an officer directing traffic, students claim that they are at least five minutes late every day due to the traffic line. I think it slows it down, and whenever we don't have the traffic line, I get here a lot faster. It makes me at least about five minutes late every day. A traffic light is in the early stages of being constructed, which would actually reduce the amount of time students and parents would have to wait in line. Yeah, I think that would be a lot more effective. I think that the students would benefit a lot from a traffic light entering the student parking lot and for the traffic that's going through. But until then, here's some advice from staff on how to avoid the traffic line. Get here earlier. If people could get here earlier, because I think the students that are affected by being tardy to class are the ones that are cutting it too close anyway. Now, um, because it's never a surprise, the line is long every day. Wrestling will have their final tournaments on Friday and Saturday at Staley. It'll be a good one. Speaking of a good one, one of our very own Griffins, Haley Sharp, has fought tougher battles than the average student. Winnetonka senior Haley Sharp has been performing all of her life. Since she started here in September, she's been in spam a lot, directed her own short, and will be in The Little Mermaid. Outside of school, she has performed in various shows, such as The Drowsy Chaperone, Phantom of the Opera, The Wizard of Oz, and many more. But if you saw her in a show, you would never imagine the obstacles she has had to overcome. Basically, when I was born, my hip sockets were facing the wrong way. They're supposed to be facing forward so you can walk and uh, basically just walk and run and do things normally. Mine were way back here. Um, basically, they're backwards, and uh, so it just caused a lot of pain with walking and dancing. To correct the direction of her hips, Haley has had to undergo four surgeries up to date, her latest being just two weeks ago. 
Although her scars show on the outside, her determination lies deep within her. Definitely. It's held me back from a lot of um, opportunities as far as acting and, and dancing, but um, I don't let it get me down. I try to push past it and keep going. Even with her surgeries, Haley plans to push past it and finish college. She may be set back a year and it'll be a struggle. Though given her previous difficulties, it's plain to see she can pull through and will achieve her goals, however unique they may be. Um, my dream is actually to be a circus clown. We have no doubt that Haley will be a perfect circus clown. Boys basketball will play this Friday at 7 o'clock at Platte County. And also congratulations to our seniors, Sanctus Purifoy, Aaron Menz, Ali Van Houten, and Ali Davis for committing to their colleges last week. With Valentine's Day coming up this week, love is in the air in the halls of Winnetonka. And it's sweeter than ever. Here are some students that decided to wear their hearts on their sleeves. With February being the month of love, Students at Winnetonka have decided to express the way they feel about their loved ones. Happy Valentine's Day to Gabe Bautista. Happy Valentine's Day, Aaron. Hi, Chris. I hate you. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, guys. This is Jesse Yasso. I just want to say what up to my girl Maddie Moore. Love you, baby. See ya. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my mom. Hey, I'm, uh, I want to give a special shout out to my, um, my mom and my dad for raising me as a good kid. Love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day, Danielle. Will you be my girlfriend? Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Shout out to my boo-boo, Logan Coleman. I hope your face is turning red in class right now. I'd like to send a shout out to my beautiful girlfriend, Carolyn Parsons. I love you. You're my everything. Happy Valentine's. This shout out is for Yvonne Rowe. Airbell, shout out. You know I love you, girl. Hi, I'm Aaron Mins, and I'd like to give a shout out to my sweetheart, Alexis Pareto. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Tonka Talks. Thank you for finally making videos again. It's good to see you guys going hard at it. Don't forget that there will be no school on Friday, February 14th, or Monday, February 17th. I'm Cole Evans. And I'm Alex Erzman. And this has been your February 10th Tonka Talks.